And hey everybody, my name is Kevin Morgan. We'll come back for another video of Total War Rome 2. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we had huge stuff going by. We decided to declare war on uh, Bells right here, uh, which was basically, uh, I don't remember who they were, but uh, they were protected. They were a puppet of these guys. So we declared war on them, which basically meant that we had to go to war with uh, these guys. So. Uh, Swebby, so we're start, still finishing that war against them. They've got a massive army over here uh, and, and Waiting for us. So it's going to be quite interesting our queen and queen uh, and king are both uh, Dealing the last few uh, territories. There's still one more re remaining right here uh, over here. We've got uh, I guess my stepsister Going over here to deal with the secession. That's right. We had a secession from our empire so our empire dropped into two basically uh there's two uh territories that the seceded from us and we're starting to deal with them first off uh over here though before dealing with this uh, one right here i gotta finish off the Parthians, which they only have one territory left and a general probably their king out of nowhere just hanging in there so uh we're gonna finish the Parthians off in this video uh, probably, I don't know if we're going to be able to finish um, the Swebby, maybe, but hopefully we're going to be able to uh, deal with the secessionist and uh, re uh, rekindle our empire all together once again. So it looks like we're getting attacked. I don't know who that is. I think that's my king. Yeah, that's my king, Mortis. Uh, he's getting attacked. He's getting ambushed by these guys right here. Uh, I'm not going to do the battle. I think 90% don't need to do the battle if it's on 90% or anything. I think we're going to be fine. So let's just simulate that. There we go. Boom. Just like that. So that's a massive defeat for them right there. They decided to attack us instead of uh, letting us attack them. Which was maybe a good idea. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, right now, I'm just focused on surviving and dealing with the rest of these guys. The uh, the army that you saw right there was the last few uh, remaining secessionists from us. Let's uh, do an integration pack with Circus. Why not? Yeah, this is the last army right there. That's that's the only army that the secessionists actually have. They didn't actually attack me this time around. They're just plundering over my my places and stuff. So that's quite interesting. Don't think uh, too much is going to happen from them. We did defend our territories last time. Uh, from these guys in the last video. So we'll see uh, what happens. All right, so we're in the next turn. Acculturation. So cultural differences present a challenge to anyone who controls foreign lands. There are, however, ways to encourage foreigners to accept our mastery. Uh, cultural understanding, cultural integration, suppression. I'm going to do inclusion. I'm going to include uh, the people into it, boys. So enemy wounded. A uh, war declared between Samaria and some uh, somebody else. All right, so we got that. Uh, next up, we are going to research this. All right, good. Uh, we don't have anything else going on too much. These guys still got to finish them off. All right, so my armies. First off, I need to lead my armies uh, somewhere in particular. So lead my, uh, I guess my, lead my cousin that's over here. Lead him towards this place right here. Now, I swear I'm not trying to attack you. I'm just passing by, uh, which basically means I'm going to be right here. There we go. I'm just passing by. Don't worry about me. Uh, over here, my stepsister, she's going to go towards uh, there. There we go. Oh, she's actually moving pretty fast. She might be able to um, to get to that location, to get to Gilonus in, in no time. That's pretty good, actually. That's really good for us. Good news. All right, next up. What do we got here? Do we have... All right, so my king and queen. What do we do with you? Uh, with both of you. I think my king, obviously, he's ready to attack. So let's just attack a Lupofordum. Or Lufordum, I guess. Uh, 4,000 soldiers for them. We can attack them, no problem. So let's just attack them. Finish that place off big time. Boom. Just like that. So that place is finished up. Uh, we're going to upgrade all of it right here. There we go. Step archers. And we basically, yeah, we have uh, some stuff right here that we got to do. Uh, let me get or, uh, horse leader or whatever. There we go. Or ord leader, whatever you want to call it. So the king took this place. There's actually, they took another territory right there during the, 
the skipping of turns so i guess we got even more territory to take from them that's quite a lot ist are actually at war with them it seems like uh that's good for us i mean we're gonna have some support from that battle then or not even oh we don't actually have the support this is a big battle big battle uh between us and the swebby right here uh 92 92 percent let me just finish them off like that boom just like that boys big battle and uh we just got a huge win from that so we got uh, that territory as well we're gonna do a bunch of upgrades she's got a bonus from that we're gonna give her the i guess the infantry command bonus there we go and that uh, place belongs to us now we can upgrade this uh, we're gonna do sanitation first and foremost always and that's pretty much that we do need to deal with these guys like uh with the is daddy boys we need to deal with them they got a fleet as well i mean i want to at some point get all of these territories like my main goal is to be russia basically uh, f like the, as much of uh, of russian land as possible that's my main goal uh, in order to do that i'm gonna have to deal with the is daddy eventually so this guy keep moving Keep moving my spy. Keep uh, uncovering more right here. I don't want to do that. Keep Just keep uncovering more territories. There we go. And my other one that's in Europe. Go over here. So Okay, so uncover this right here. And the rest, I guess we can go move back towards that direction. Eventually, we'll uncover what's over here. So we basically uncovered all of Europe, uh, Eastern Europe right here and Central Europe, boys. Uh, we just need to uncover Africa and stuff like that and uh, Western Europe. We still don't know uh, too much about uh, actual England. We actually don't know anything about England. So that's quite interesting. So uh, aside from that, we don't have anything else. We've got a family tree. Let's take a look. Do we have uh, anybody to upgrade? We sure do. My wife needs an upgrade. Good. Good. The queen needs an upgrade boy. So she upgrades in uh, Gravitas getting really close to our king in terms of gravitas as well almost more respected than the king himself in terms of the battlefield that's quite interesting i mean at some point you're gonna you're getting towards your last chance my girl you're gaining towards your last chance i don't know what to tell you right here but uh, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to say yes at some point because this is really getting ridiculous my guy right here keep getting money these guys are going to be are super rich by now. The Macedonians are super rich. I don't know how they haven't dealt with the Odrysians yet. They need, to, they need to deal with them. The Iperus did take uh, Greece right here. The other t portions of Greece. So good for them. That's really good news. Let's do military access. Good. We, uh, we do have an alliance with them. So that's good. Keep uh, giving them money, boys. Support them as much as possible. The Athenians as well uh, i do want we have an alliance we have everything that we uh, needed from them so we're just gonna give the rest of the money to them there we go just pushing every single money that i got just giving it all to macedonia macedonia no, just give it, it all to macedon and all of its satrapies and stuff like that that's basically i'm gonna uh, i'm working it out all right so i think we're good we can uh keep moving boys i don't want to create any other armies like I could create another army right here and finish these guys off and invade all of this. I don't want to do that. The, uh, the way I'm working it out is I have four maximum armies because I'm always I'm already using a lot of cheats and stuff like that. A lot of mods that made so I'm basically killing the uh, the enemies easily. So I don't need 500 armies. You know, I think four armies is good enough in its own for two. Two for the south slash east, and two other we ones for uh, the uh, the west slash north. You know that's just how it goes. All right, and looks the like they declared war on us, so we don't we actually have to deal with them, which is fine by me, because this is our empire. So this is going to be uh, like get rid of the big hole that's right there as well. So uh, I guess the currently had enough of us, decided to declare war to us. Now the problem is I already have to deal with the goddamn secession. Uh, I, once I'm done with the Parsians, I guess I'm just going to move right here with that army. With my cousin's army. But the, the thing is, uh, I need to deal with that secession right here as well. So, 
Uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I don't think the Macedonians or any of these guys can do too much about that. So I'm not going to call them in. I'm just going to have to deal with that myself, boys. All right, so we got a bunch of uh, stuff. Slave riots. I don't know, uh, on Amul. For some reason, we got some slave riots on Amul. Got a bunch of wars being declared right here, boys. Oh, the Royal Scythians actually are declare, uh, declared war on the... Uh, on the other blood family that we got, uh, the one that I'm ch I've been trying to uh, basically get forever now by giving them money. Uh, they actually uh, got that. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Okay, no, no. That's the uh, regular army. So I need to deal with them now. Shit, man. I don't have any armies uh, to defend myself right here. I legit don't have any armies. What am I supposed to do? I don't, I don't exactly know, boys, what I'm supposed to do right here. This is kind of... Uh, it's a bit frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what about here? My king and queen first, all right? So we're gonna we're gonna deal with this whole thing first. Uh, my king, just continue. He's gonna march on right here. He's gonna deal with uh, this city first. Deal with this, there we go. Uh, finish it off, 100%, boom. Finish it off, uh, there we go. Get that thing for ourselves right here. Get this, this, and uh, upgrade this into that. There we go. Uh, get probably a bonus not even all right, so we just got that city uh, right here We're still expanding. We're spending quite a lot boys. We need to get this uh, this one right here. My queen got this territory But uh, I think now I kind of I well my king's gonna have to be the one to move here I guess so he's gonna have to build uh, deal with that. So I guess my queen now she's gonna go over here and She's gonna deal with these guys uh, right here. So just gonna make her march on there we go right here and she she's gonna basically annex these guys or kill them off uh, in a single blow next turn uh you buddy my cousin where's he at he's right there so my cousin's right there we got a slave revolt apparently in amul i don't know what that's all about i don't know what that's all about but uh we're gonna deal with that uh, later i don't i don't want to have to worry about that right now uh we're gonna do militant there we go and uh, we are gonna get out of March and attack Anissa, which is the last territory that I believe of that it belongs to the Parsians. So kill the Par Parsians off, big time, boom. We got him, upgrade for our, our general before that. Let's uh, get these things done right here. Uh, transfer that to our own thing. All right, so yeah, he's got a bonus right here. And uh, let's get, I guess, bowl. Let's get cavalry command, there we go. And uh, they're still alive. They're still alive because they still have that one army left right here. I can't go after them right now, but that's fine. Let's heal up a little bit. We got Nisa, boys. So the Persians are basically done with. They're basically done with right now. I do have my scout right here. I haven't uncovered. There's a lot of stuff I've ever, I haven't uncovered yet from that uh, direction. So let's uh, go towards there right here, boys. Going to the desert and trying to uncover more about this. What about uh, what about you uh, right here? Where's my scout? My scout's over here. Yeah. So we're going to uncover a little bit more of the north as well. Just keep going. There we go. We got this. We got the Nervi now. Yeah, we're uncovering more and more every day, boys. Uh, what about... Uh, okay, so my generals... My cousin obviously has got some more gravitas because of his uh, battle uh, right here, his win. We can educate another one of our son. There we go. So our, our second son, eldest son, is being educated, educated right now. Our eldest one is eight years old. So he's not quite ready to be a uh, raging war just yet. But uh, he's getting there. He's definitely getting there. All right. So did we move every single one of my armies? Actually not. Oh, that's right. Yeah, my, um, my, cous uh, my stepsister, she still hasn't been moved up. So... There we go. Go uh, towards there. We actually, we can march uh, march her up. So we're going to do that. We're going to march up real close. So next turn, she's going to be able to get rid of that territory. Get it for ourselves once again. All right. So aside from that, uh, we are allied, right? Let's, let's get them to attack this. I don't know who my allies are. I don't think they're at war with the, any of my, uh, the same people as me, but... That doesn't matter. I'm just gonna tell them to convince. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell them to attack this, to the, this place. It's closer to them, I guess. Uh, Macedon, you are gonna get some money. 
Obviously, like always, you're getting uh, the regular money I'm giving you, buddy. There we go. Same thing for Hyperius, buddy. Your regular stuff, as always. There we go. Just uh, get your free money, as always. Same thing for Ma for Addies. Free, uh, free, uh, free money for every uh, single one of them, boys. All right. And now, this girl. Last chance, my girl. Oh, there we go. Finally, she is accepting. All right, she accepted, boys. Finally. Holy shit. It just took forever to accept, uh, forever for her to accept, but she did. And now we can get rid of that army. All of these armies, we don't need them anymore. We don't need these armies anymore, boys. Just get rid of them all together. There we go. She had like three armies and stuff. She definitely uh, did something with that, uh, the money I gave her. All right, so now we got that army. Once I've dealt with uh, these two territories, my secession in itself, I'm going to be able to reunite my actual empire together like properly that's gonna be good i'll just give the rest of my money to these guys because they're at war with the odrisians so i'll give them money because it's gonna support their war effort basically against the odrisians i need somebody to deal with them once and for all you know i need somebody to make it so that the macedonians don't need to focus on them anymore at some point they need to be dealt with you know I need the macedonians to start and and its puppets to start focusing on the romans big time we actually have the greeks going by closing uh, closing in on Ro uh, on the italians so that is a good thing that's what i want to see but why is it the uh, why is it the greek that are doing that and not the appearance or right beside brundisium or even the macedonians who are the biggest empire out of them uh, are the actual empire so i don't know what they're doing it's kind of uh frustrating i need them to finish it off already well we got the first assault from the carly they decided to attack us uh we are going to defend ourselves uh, with the two things and uh, i'm just going to defend myself i'm just going to uh do the other result for this i don't want to have to uh to deal with that uh, i'm only going to do the battles if i assault them so let's just defend ourselves right here we finished up their entire army basically that that was probably their entire army right there just uh, trying to attack us the only army left for the Scythians, or the only army that they've got, they still haven't attacked us, so I don't know. I might have to actually deal with them, which is not a thing that I'm too excited about. Return home for everybody. There we go. Allies confirm. Subject gains notoriety, fame. Okay. Uh, war declared. Okay. That's uh, all well and fun. We got all of this right here, so more uh, things to work on. I got a special thing going on. I guess it's the notoriety thing. Uh, I just got to wait before doing anything uh, with that. Uh, what I want to do is over here. We're going to start doing our assaults, boys, real quick. So she's going to... My my stepsister, she's going to uh, invade this place. So take this place once and for all. It's uh, once again ours. So this place is once again ours, boys. Good. Uh, we got it. So get that right here. Do all the upgrades just like that. We're in the middle of winter as well. It's uh, kind of crazy. All right. So she's got the bonuses uh, over here, my guy. You uh, finished up, right? I think you finished up with the uh, Persians. Now, there's still a thing. Their army is still roaming about. Uh, I don't know where they are, but uh, I don't have time to, uh, to go and uh, look for them. So I'm just going to take territories. What I'm going to end up doing then is just uh, start moving. So we're going to start moving from there, ta uh, go towards the roads and uh, follow the roads and go towards uh, the last uh, few territories that they have right here. Actually, I have an army right here. It can take that territory if I, uh, if I wanted to, but uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, boys. I'm just going to uh, dis destroy that army. I guess it was a, b a bonus army that I had out of nowhere. My king's army. Time to send them over, boys. So time to send them over uh, right here. There we go. Make him march as well. Or oh, he can't march, actually. Okay, so it, it, it won't matter at all. So let's just keep him right here. My queen, she's going to do the assault. But first, before doing the assault or anything for this place, uh, I'm going to get her out of march. For assaulting the Aestiti, we're going to take a look. What is this right here? What's going on? 
for and my family any of uh, my family members need anything nope no i think we're good all right so you buddy right here what is this a chariot maker has built a forge and if the rumors are true his work could rival that of smith god visit him buy something do nothing i'm gonna visit him i'm gonna personally visit him boys seems like a, a good um a good thing right here it could be really be helpful to us to our war efforts and stuff like that all right so fury no nothing before i do uh, declare war on anybody i want to make sure that um i get uh, my spies to go to the direction i want them to go at there we go this one is there and the one in europe keep uh keep on covering so go towards uh go towards here there we go we got flevin so basically that's uh belgium right there go back towards there so we've uncovered most of that now it's uh modern friends that we have un haven't uncovered quite uh, enough yet of so we got all of that we got uh we basically you almost know the entire world by now so you can see uh what i'm gonna do now it's time to do the assault boys time uh, to do the assault and to get the entire border right here for ourselves so do it declare a war not gonna call my allies in just gonna simply declare a war right here boom just like that uh we are getting them pretty easily so boom there we go she, they're dead and uh we're taking that territory for ourselves just like that and uh get all the little sanitation stuff i'm gonna get this uh right here all right there we go so every single one of the armies seems to have a bonus as well from that which is very good my queen doing her thing boys we got a our an entire region for ourselves once again as well um i think they're they got destroyed or did they they're they're not to be worried about because they're right there the well bef uh, far ahead of their actual uh, original territories they're in uh, the middle of rugi right now i guess they're at war with rugi so uh i'm just gonna let it go i'm just gonna let it go big time boys uh, over here the swebby they still have a territory right here somehow did they take a literally they legit took another territory all right so if i had known that i would have sent my king over here damn all right so they have another goddamn territory they've got two of them the swebby are pretty strong boys not gonna lie i might be just tempted though to well i'm gonna send my king over here so that's what i'm gonna do I'm going to send my king over here, take that territory right here. And after that is done, I'll declare peace. I'll make peace with the Swebby. Because I don't want to have to push too much further into the west right here. I'm not interested in that at all uh, for this, uh, this let's play. So uh, aside from that, we're good. We're good to go. Uh, it looks like the Adrisians are dead. I think they are, boys. I think I managed to, to do it. So the Macedonians killed the Adrisians once and for all. Good, finally. So now they only have the Romans to deal with. So that's uh, that's really good. They, they only have the Romans to deal with. That's perfect. Deal with them now. All right, just do your thing. The Hyperians, right, only have one selected enemy now. So you don't need to worry about, about anything in particular. Just do your thing. I'm just giving uh, all of them the selected money like usual. There we go. Just get all the money in the world and do your thing. Now focus on Rome, deal with them once and for all, you know, and uh, finish them off. All right, so that's basically that. What about the Cimmeria? Cimmeria is at war right now with the per with Pergamon right here. Interesting. With Britannia as well. And they're at war with these guys. So yeah, you can, we can do a military alliance. I need to give you a little bit more. Let me give you all the money. Not enough. All right. Let me just give you the rest of the money for now. All right. Uh, will, uh, do you want to be military ally now? Not yet. Okay. So I'm just going to try and be military ally for a while with some areas, boys. Just so uh, they can deal with this bullshit that's going on here. Because I don't want to have to deal with that. My armies are not there yet. They're not, they can't deal with that. The last army of the Persians are attacking us. We'll just defend ourselves and finish them off. So that uh, should do it for the Persians. Just like that, they're going to get destroyed. They destroyed themselves uh, by throwing themselves at us. So there we go. That's basically done for them. So one less war for us to worry about, boys. Persians are dealt with. The Swebi are really strong. 
This is why I want to finish the war already, because otherwise we're never going to finish it with them. They're a really strong faction to begin with, and they keep getting new territories, so I, I don't want to have to mess, with, mess around with them too much. It's going to take me too long. Plus, I want to help out eventually the Macedonians. My end goal right here was to, uh, for, the, for the entire uh, thing, right, the entire uh, campaign, was for me to get Russia all together, or at least most of it, uh, as it used to look like in Soviet Union or something like that, in its prime. I wanted, uh, I want Russia to look like that, my Russia to look like that. Uh, faction destroyed for Parsha, good. Objective issue, the Smith uh, Reborn. Honored by your visit, the chariot must have presented you with a gift of a chariot, an unsurpassed beauty, good. Uh, War declared between Nova and Katago, okay. We got all of this, a lot of upgrades, lots of upgrades, boys, uh, uh, around, to go around. All right, so uh, we got these upgrades right here. We can go back and upgrade this, okay. So yeah, I want to deal with uh, with this whole thing right now that's going on. Uh, the Swebi have a lot of territories and I need to deal with them. My king is over here, so he's going to end up just defending this uh, this place. He's going to have to assault this, uh, this place altogether. I think he's just going to... No, he's not going to do until March. He's just going to stay uh, like that. Uh, you are going to go ahead and just simply... My queen... Simply stay. Well, she's not gonna stay put. I don't want her to stay put, but we're gonna do drill sergeant for this guy. And what we're gonna do here is, I guess I could send her to deal with the other territory right here, but I kind of don't want to. I don't even want to invade like uh, like this right here. I don't want to even invade that. I just want to deal with whatever is going on here. So uh, yeah, my end goal, as I was saying, as I'm gonna move her uh, back. I'm going to move her back right here. There we go. Move her back to the, uh, the original region. What I want, I meant to say earlier is my original goal is to get all of this. So I'm basically almost got everything right here. Uh, obviously, uh, to have normal Russia, uh, that's good because the gold sheet just took care of that. Good, uh, good, good, good. They just need to take care of this now. Uh, to, For me to actually get normal Russia, I wouldn't need to actually get Crimea and everything. So eventually I will have to invade Crimea and all of this. Like at least get this right here. So take care of these uh, these uh, factions. So that faction right here is probably going to be the last faction we're going to deal with. Like literally take this from them. That's the last thing I need right now. I don't need the rest. The rest I don't care about invading at all, at all boys. I really don't care at all about that. Uh, this, these guys right here, well, you're done with the Persians, my uh, cousin. So you're just going to go and uh, start dealing with the secessionists right here. And my stepsister right here, uh, she needs to move uh, back south. She needs to move back south. We don't have anything else to do uh, with her. Need, uh, so she moves back south. She's about to prepare herself, mobilize uh, the, uh, that army. To deal with uh, the Sumerians once and for all, I guess. That's what I'm going to end up doing, boys. And uh, uh, Erebus, continue to uh, uncover more of Africa right here. Yeah, continue to uncover more of Africa. That's all you got to do, buddy. Okay, so this other uh, spy right here, he's got to uncover more. He's already uncovered most of the things right here. So he's just going to head back right here. Just uh, like that and continue to move, buddy. There we go. We're just going to uncover this. Coming back towards France right here. Uh, so what do we got here? Uh, do we have anybody that can uh, upgrade? Uh, has upgrades? Yes, we do. My stepsister has some upgrades, even though she didn't have uh, actual anything happen in this turn. It's got to be from the other previous turn. So um, my my king itself, he's 44 years old. My cousin is actually 60 years old, boys. He's getting in there in terms of age, but considering the fact that his his mo mother died at 101 years old and she was a general at that i think he uh he's gonna last a bit longer boys i got a feeling at least that that's what's gonna happen all right so i think we're good for this turn we did uh, pretty much everything for this turn so we don't need to focus on anything we're pretty much done with everything boys we're moving quite quickly in the years right here aside from actually mobilizing and and stuff like that we really don't have a lot a whole lot to do 
I mean, we, we are at war with these two, but we're just mobilizing right now. We are actually not really attacking that much. I think it's time for us to do it, boys. I think I'm ready. Uh, I'm not done with the AS city or anything, but I don't need to worry about the AS city. It's Subai. I'm about to make peace with them eventually. These two, I'm going to finish them off. I don't need to worry about too much. I'm not... I'm going to declare war to Rome. I'm going to formally join the war with Macedonia, right? So uh, help Macedon uh, deal with the Romans. Now, I'm going to help them, but not like uh, in power and stuff. I'm just going to join the war, uh, join the war effort, but I'm not actually going to attack the Romans per se. Uh, I'm just going to let the Macedonians deal with it. It's just I want them to deal with it quick. So I need, uh, in order to do that, join the war uh, i'm gonna join your war effort i don't know why they don't want me to join actually I, they legit don't want me to join for some reason you give you more money they don't want me to join the war i, I don't know i don't know why they don't want me to join the war uh against the uh, these guys what okay well here's what we're gonna do then because we're already i'm gonna just declare uh, a war on them big time i'm just gonna do it myself I'm just going to declare war. There we go. Just like that. And we're now at war with them. All right. So we, I just did it that way because apparently for some reason the other way around that didn't work. So we're at war with the Romans now. Now we're formally at war with them, but it doesn't mean anything. All it means is I can tell them where to go. So now I'm going to tell them to take this first. Take Mandusium. Focus on that. Now, I can't give anybody any territories. That's the problem, right? If I go here, per se, I can't give them territories. I can't give them away, uh, those territories away. So uh, I'm just going to have, I guess, to... I could always, like, go in there myself anyways with my king, maybe. Uh, go towards it, Ita uh, Italy and actually deal some damage. But why would I do that? You know, it's not... I don't think it's a good idea. I really don't. So I'm just gonna tell everybody, like, go go uh, deal with the Romans. Uh, same thing for these guys. They're at war right now with. Uh, let's create a military alliance, my guy. Ah, oh, there we go. Military alliance with these guys as well. There we go. So all all four of these guys are allied with me. So all four of them have the same objective: taking this place first. So I'm gonna just tell them where to go. That's all I'm going to do. Just telling them where to go, boys, because I need them to focus right now. I need them to have a focus effort and to know where they, to go. The AI seems like uh, they sometimes they just need they, they need to know where to go for some reason. All right, so let's end the turn right here. Let's prepare ourselves. We're about to assault Swebby in the next turn. Uh, and we're actually officially at war with Rome, which by in my perspective is not the biggest faction of the game. Uh, Macedon, Macedon is, but uh, well, I am, and then Macedon is because I gave them so much money, you know. So it's just a front all effort right now, and it looks like we're getting attacked by the Swebby as well. Just gonna simulate that because I don't need to deal with that at all. They're already, uh, they they didn't have anybody in there. I don't know why they attacked me. They they legit have one uh one division or something. Oh, there it is. There's the battle. Why, my king is right there, literally right there. Why can he not, like, intervene with this shit? I don't know why he can't intervene, boys. Remaining force. I can simulate that and kill him off, boys. No problem. There we go. I'm just gonna kill him off right here. I, I, I could survive. If I can survive, there's no problem. I'm just gonna do it the, right there. I, I don't, I don't want to have to deal with that right now. All right, so we're in a new turn again, boys. Once again, objectives, uh, subject gains notoriety and stuff like that. So we got another thing of notoriety and another special event, I guess, uh, going on. So let's take a look on that event really quick beforehand. Uh, family tree, don't have any bonuses or anything. Yeah, just always taking a look, boys. I'm going to secure loyalty for the fam uh, other family, of course. Very important. All right, so what about this guy? The tribe grows fractious. Two groups within it have been caught uh, fighting to prove who is the most bloodthirsty. Craze one, organize a fight. The whole tribe will decide who is the superior. Mediate. Unity is needed. The tribe against all. There you go. So med uh, mediate, boys. I'm going to mediate on that one. 
my stepsister I need to move her so let's continue to move her boys it doesn't help out that uh, it doesn't help the fact that uh, uh, we are in winter right now so slows her down a little bit but uh, we're still gonna be fine over here buddy my cousin is he gonna like it's gonna take a while there we go next turn he's, uh, he's gonna be able to attack this place and deal with once and for all finish them off this uh, sessionist uh, I still got let me see real quick do I have a, anything to upgrade right here I do all right so let me uh let me see real quick my queen I need to send her over I want to send her over right here so continue to march her on towards the territory she's gonna take a while to come back uh, over here we do have some upgrades a new uh thing that we can uh, take so I'm just gonna get more public order and nom nomadic culture for ourselves and over here buddy the, the, the king you go over here and you're not going to be able to attack aren't you no i don't think he's going to be able to attack boys just yet so next turn he's going to be able to do it it's taking a while boys for him to to be able to do anything right now it's kind of uh, a bit frustrating so all of my armies marched on no wars whatsoever just yet still gotta figure this one out boys all right so this faction's been uncovered what about uh what about over here yeah keep moving keep moving all right so we got that right here uh do we have anything else yeah we uh, we have to keep moving towards that uh direction right here so just kind of keep on covering more uh, already dealt with that don't need to so what do we do here so are they moving out now i think they they are right they're all mobilizing yeah so now they they have a specific target so they're all good every single one of them they're four factions they're all going to mobilize and go straight up towards this one single place, boys. So I want them to take Brindisium. They're, they're going to take it. Good job from the Ad Athenians as well. Good job. They already took Cosentia. So they have Cosentia. Now it's not a guarantee they're going to keep it because uh, they, they don't know how to keep the morale up, right? People are pretty... Uh, normal popula is, the population is pretty unhappy about all of this, but... Uh, right now, it seems like they're doing all right. So the Greeks are actually the ones doing the most job, the best job right now. So good for them. All right, next stop then. Uh, I pretty much am good. So all I need to do is give the money to these guys. Just keep giving you. the money away. All right, so I'm done. Diplomacy is done. Let's just skip the turn again, boys. There's really a not a lot of things going on today. Uh, one thing we're going to do for sure is uh, the next battle we're going to do, if it's a... Uh, pretty huge one we are going to do it in the video otherwise we're just not going to do anything I, i'm looking for that big battle but not a battle that i want to i don't want to do defense i don't i hate doing defenses i just want to do um attacks assaults so i'm just looking for that one assault that is very big or something you know for a city but we haven't done really uh anything big today aside from finally like uh, annexing that one territory I didn't want to get annexed for forever it just took 10 years to annex them you know these guys are going to be a problem the goddamn secessionists we need to deal with them I swear they just don't want to be dealt with all right so let's see what we can do for the next turn boys banditry unrest everywhere protection expired uh war declared yes yeah, so my protection for basically the civil war is expired now Oh, not really. It's still another three turns. But I feel like we're, uh, we're going to be fine this time around. I don't think we're going to have anybody uh, declaring war on us or seceding from us. Uh, we Our last son can be educated. So we're going to educate him as well. How old is our son? 10 years old now. Our eldest son. All right. Uh, that's pretty much that. They're uh, marching on. There we go. Macedonia is uh, closing in. Uh, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Greek. The Greek are already there, so they're probably going to take Brindisium before Macedonia, boys. The Greeks are doing all the job themselves, it seems like. They should be careful, though. I feel like they're going to lose the city by slaves or something. They're going to lose the city probably via revolt or something if they're not careful. I mean, that's the AI, though. They, they don't care too much about these types of things, it looks like. They really don't care. All right, so on our part, right here. Where's my king at? Uh, where's the battlefield I was going for right here? Wait, Itros got taken. Oh, Istros got taken. What a waste of time. So the boy took Istros, boys. So 
wait is there are we still at war with these guys where's the um german confederation the germans are actually a thing now wait so the swibby are not a thing anymore they're not a thing anymore boys so okay so we don't need to worry about them anymore they got annexed via the german confederation the german confederation is a thing now very interesting all right that's kind of cool i'm not gonna lie that's kind of cool i like that let me see what we can do then where are we gonna send my uh my king then i, I don't want to have to deal with the germans i'll leave them alone so we're gonna send my king towards the roman i'm gonna ask for military access from everyone that's over here eventually we'll come by and we'll help out the uh, war effort against the romans and uh, over here we don't have too much i do know that i had my queen over here that's taking forever to march but I mean, she is marching, but the problem is it's a large-ass territory. Russia is a large territory, boys, and it's a lot to cover. It really is a lot to cover, so, I mean, there's not a lot we can do about that. My my cousin, there we go, hold on, right there. Let's deal with the last three remaining, the last territory for these guys. Let's deal with it, boys. 98%, so we don't need to do the battle ourselves. Let's occupy this place. There we go. And uh, we got the territory once more. So we got the full territory now. And uh, let me just upgrade every single one of them. Just like that. And there we go. So now we are basically looking more and more like the real Russians, boys. Uh, these guys took care of our enemy that was here. So I think we're not even at war with this. these guys as well, right? Whoever it was, the Kelki or whatever. Let me see really quick. Or is this still a thing? I don't think they are. They're not. So two of our enemies got dealt with via annexation or got de simply destroyed. So the gold sheet took care of that. They took their those territories. I'm feeling pretty confident with the territories I've got myself right now. I need to deal with the goddamn royal Scythians though. Uh, once and for all. So uh, that's what I'm going to do with uh, the army I've got right here. With my stepsister's army. I'm going to send her over. Before sending her over, I need to deal with this. I need to attack these two uh, regions. So uh, I want to be able to get the uh, modern Russia as much as possible. So we are going to invade Siberia, boys. Take care of Crimea once and for all. Do they have... Oh, they do have Sinop. But I don't, I don't care about that. Once we uh, take this right here. Uh, I'm probably not going to worry about this. I'm probably just going to declare peace with them or something like that. The Persians. This is, this is the Persians, by the way. They've got a really nice color. It uh, looks like they, they have a lot of uh, territory. A territory that belongs to them right there. They're pretty care. That's one thing I don't want to be at war with is the Persians and the Aryans. They seems to be very dangerous, both of them. Uh, I've got all my uh, armies to, uh, to march. So they're already... I'll cover uh, everything they did, everything they, they were supposed to. So I've got uh, uncovered this. I'm about to uncover another one, another region. What about uh, over here? Let's uh, keep going over here. There we go. All right, so we got that. A new city, a new uh, faction. We just uncovered a new faction and stuff like that. So we're good on that part. I don't need to look at that. All right, so next up, we just need to do the regular stuff, boys. At this point... We're pretty much done with the campaign itself at this point. I pretty much did everything I had. Once I've dealt with the Cimmerians. So once I've, uh, I got Crimea and Caucasia right here. So just this, uh, this right here. I'm going to be fine. I mean, I'm going to be done with the, the, the thing in itself. I'm basically going to be done with the, the whole campaign. Just want to make sure to help out Macedonia while I can. There is one thing I want to do though first. I do want to be friendly with these guys, with the Germans. I, I want to be friendly with the Germans, boys. Set up uh, a course of uh, family history. So let me give them some money. Support them a little bit. I want to be as friendly as possible with them. And uh, get the Germans to maybe get their things as well. You know, Mania, Germania. They, they got to get their thing. You know, and uh, I'm going to try and be friendly to them, I guess. Just like I'm friendly with uh, Macedonia. So, uh, I want to get another faction like that to be uh, get going. So, let's skip, uh, let's skip another turn right here, boys. I want to get, uh, I want to do some war battles. I want to do something. We're getting attacked by the Royal Scythians. So, the only army they've got left, the only thing they've got left, 
is uh, right here, boys. We could do the actual uh, battle ourselves. But uh, we're just going to skip it. We're just going to kill them off and finish them off. So no more sisterness. That was the last of the rebels right here. Uh, that decided to secede from us. So uh, there it is. That no more session is boys. We dealt with them. So uh, I don't even need to worry about uh, this region anymore. We uh, can just do our own thing now. In, over Crimea. Royal se uh, Sessionist has been dealt with. Good. Arborist, everything. Good. War declared. Uh, a, a bunch of, go uh, a bunch of uh, barbarians declaring war to each other and stuff like that. And uh, that's fine by me. All right. So let's keep it moving, boys, right here. Keep on covering more stuff. We got the Arvanians that we've uh, uncovering some of their territories right here. All right. So my king right here, I was sending him over uh, that direction. So keep it sending him really quick. I know. I know I'm kind of in your territory without your asking, uh, asking you, but just trying to march there. Uh, did they do their thing just yet? They haven't done it yet. They probably tried the assault now that I think about it. I think they tried the assault, the Greeks, but uh, they probably failed or something. I think they probably failed, but they're coming by. I mean, look at that huge army. They're mobilizing, boys. They're coming by. Uh, next up, I do have my queen that I wanted to move, right? So my queen is over here somewhere. Yeah, she's taking her sweet ass time, boys. She, uh, she'll be there, but uh, it's going to take a while. It's good, definitely going to take a while, but uh, she's eventually going to be there. Once we uh, get to that direction, our normal territory is she's going to be. Uh, it's going to be a little bit better for us. So, all right, this this girl right here, our uh, stepsister, time to use her to attack. Not going to uh, uh, ask any allies to join me or anything. I'm just going to simply attack. There we go. Simply attack them once and for all. Ninety-four percent. Get it done with. Boom, just like that. We uh, got this right here. So only Crimea is left to get. And after that, we're going to basically be good for the entirety of Russia, boys. We got this. All right, good. So uh, she's got a bonus, definitely. Let me uh, give her that one and give her the this one right here. Uh, oh, hold on. Just like that. There we go. All the bonuses. So only Crimea is going to be left. And uh, also, obviously, they've got some territories. They've got these two territories right here, but it doesn't matter to me at all. I, I do have my cousin right here. And what I can do with my cousin now is actually moving towards the waters, boys. So I can actually tell him to uh, to march now and go there faster. So deal with that. So we are going to declare war to these guys as well. We're going to deal with them. I want to take as much, expend as much as possible, but... Not too far away, though. I don't care too much. Just want to expand as much as possible towards what Russia should look like. There we go. So we uncovered uh, more, more stuff. We got uh, you. Anybody that's got gravitas? Yes. S uh, stepsister. You've got some uh, gravitas and stuff like that. Good. Uh, over here. Don't need any loyalty. Everybody's super loyal to me anyways. Good. That's fantastic. So we're, we're, we're really doing good right now. We are dominating the world, by far the biggest empire. The Macedonians are doing their own thing uh, with uh, my financial help, of course. They're being, uh, they're able to, to do quite a lot of good stuff. Let me find out really quick. Do I need to upgrade anything here? Nope. Okay, so time for us to give the money to Macedonia one last time, boys. You give uh, give them some speech. money and stuff and like that. Give them uh, support and uh, and stuff. One last time for the uh, video. Give them all the, the money the in the world the right here. Just what to uh, make the support for the war effort and stuff like that. All right, so I'm done with diplomacy. As you can see, the Germans are pretty... They're getting close there in terms of friendship with me. So they're getting friendly with me a little bit. I might be able to in the next turn to get a trade agreement first going on with them and stuff like that. Uh, for the rest, I mean, uh, we're getting there. Uh, also, the Nori, I did forget, but uh, I just want to military access. So, just want some military access. I'm not trying to invade you, I swear. Uh, I'll give you some money, even. Okay, well, let's be friendly a little bit. Let's just be a little bit more friendly. Don't declare war to me. We're going to be fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just passing through. I'm just simply passing through with my king right here. So... Uh, I'm going to end it right here. As, as you can see, we expanded quite a lot in this video. 
We really expanded quite a lot. We um, finished up Mount Regis, uh, basically finished up a bunch of wars over here. My king and queen uh, are now preparing ourselves. Queen, is, My queen is getting over here to deal with potential enemies uh, over here possibly and take care of Crimea. We're going to finish it off with my stepsister, of course, but uh, my cousin, of course, is getting over here as well. We're going to deal with this whole thing that's going on. Once we're done with Crimea and the, the rest of the Caucasian lands right here, the modern Russia is basically going to be there, boys. We're basically going to have the entirety of modern Russia. I mean, I could push through right here, maybe. But uh, I don't feel like I really want to. I don't feel like it's necessary for me to do that. Uh, the rest, really, I don't care about Europe as much, boys. So feel like the entire thing is pretty much done for us. The campaign itself after that. Uh, we're coming up towards the end of it. It's not a lot of parts, but we did quite a lot. I mean, we expanded. We came from this one little small region right here to all of this. So we expanded quite a bit. Our empire grew super fast. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.